Yo, yo, yo. In today's video, I'm going to explain logical operators in Java. Logical operators, they allow us to check or modify more than one condition. There's and or not. We'll discuss and first, which is represented by two ampersands. Let's declare a variable of temperature. Temp meaning temperature. I will set this to be 20. I would like to check to see if my temperature falls within a certain range. Well, to do that, I could use the AND logical operator. We can check more than one condition. So first, I would like to see if my temp is less than or equal to 30, 30 degrees Celsius. And if the temp is greater than or equal to zero. We have two conditions this time. If this is true and this is true, then do this code. So let's output the following. If our temperature falls within this range, we'll output the weather is good. And for fun, I'll add a smiley face. Because why not? Okay, let's see how this works. The temperature is currently 20, 20 degrees Celsius. The weather is good. If the temperature were 40, 40 degrees Celsius, well, we don't do anything. This condition evaluated to be false, but this one is true. Our temperature is greater than or equal to zero. That is true, but this one is false. And using the AND logical operator, both conditions must be true in order for this entire statement to be true. Since only one of them was true, where temp is greater than or equal to zero, we don't execute this code. The AND logical operator is used to check more than one condition. We can add as many as we would like to. This time, let's create a variable of is sunny. This will be a boolean. Boolean is sunny. Is it sunny outside? I will set that to be true. Not only are we going to check to see if our temperature is within a certain range, we're also going to check and is sunny. Is this true? So now we are linking three different conditions. All three must be true. So if all three are true, we'll output the following. It is sunny outside. Let's set is sunny to be false. And then we are going to set our temperature to not 240, 20. These two conditions are true, but this one is false. So we don't do any of it. We skip over it. With the AND logical operator, all conditions must be true. If is sunny were true then, well then we execute this code. The temperature falls within this range. This is true, and this is true, and this is true. All three conditions are true. So we execute this code. The weather is good, and it is sunny outside. We check more than one condition, and both must be true. There's also the not logical operator. It's a little different. How it works is that it gives you the opposite. You can check to see if something is not true. Let's add an else if statement. We're going to copy these three conditions, but make one change. We're going to precede is sunny with the not logical operator represented by an exclamation point. It checks the opposite. We are checking to see if something is not true. Is our temperature less than or equal to 30 and greater than or equal to zero? And is it not sunny? So if something is normally false using the not logical operator, it becomes true. If it's normally true, it becomes false. It gives you the opposite for a Boolean value basically. If the weather is good, but it's not sunny, that must mean it's cloudy. It is cloudy outside. Then I'll add an emoji of a cloud. The temperature is good, but we'll set is sunny to be false. The weather is good, but it is cloudy outside. The temperature falls within this range, and it is not sunny. 
The not logical operator checks to see if something is not true. Then we have the or logical operator, represented by two vertical bars. Or is similar to the and logical operator. However, only one condition needs to be true that are linked by the or logical operator. With and, both must be true. Let's say our temperature is really cold. It is negative 10 degrees Celsius. But it is sunny outside. We actually don't end up doing anything. We skip over the if statement and the else if statement. Let's add another else if statement. We're going to check to see if our temperature is really hot or really cold. We will check if our temp is greater than 30 or using two vertical bars, temp is less than zero. Then we'll output the weather is bad. If our temperature is negative 10, the weather is bad. With the or logical operator, at least one condition must be true. This condition was false, but this one was true. So we execute this code, because using the or logical operator, at least one condition needs to be true. Or if the temperature was 35, 35 degrees Celsius, this time this condition was true, but this one was false. So we execute this code. All right, let's go over another example. We're going to use these logical operators to validate a username when somebody tries to set a username. So in this project, we'll need a scanner. Scanner scanner equals new scanner. We're going to type system.in, then import this class. Then be sure to close your scanner at the end of the file. Scanner.close. Our username has a few rules. I'll add these as comments. Username must be between 4 through 12 characters. Username must not contain spaces or underscores. We'll create a string variable of username. We'll create a prompt to have a user enter in a username. Enter your new username. I'll use print instead of print line. We will assign our username using the scanner. Username equals scanner dot next line. We'll write a condition to check if our username is between four to 12 characters. We're going to check if our username is under four characters or greater than 12 characters. We'll check that within an if statement. If our username use the length method to return the length of this string, if the length of our username is less than four, use the or logical operator or our username, the length of it using the length method is greater than 12. That means our username is too short or too long. Well, I'll put the following username must be between four through 12 characters. Let's perform a test run. Enter your new username. I'll type in something that's less than four characters. Username must be between four to 12 characters. Let's type in a really long username. I'll just make up something. Username must be between four to 12 characters. Let's type in something actually within that range. Oh, and then we need to add an else statement because I forgot. Else we will print welcome plus username. Enter your new username. Welcome, whatever your username is. The second part of this assignment is that we need to check to make sure that there are no spaces or underscores within our username. After the if statement, we'll add an else if statement to check that. Using the contains method of strings, we can check if a string contains a certain character. 
with our username, we will use the contains method. Does our username contain any spaces? Or does our username contains any underscores? If so, we'll output the following. Username must not contain spaces or underscores. Let's perform another test run. Type in your first and last name, including a space. Username must not contain spaces or underscores. This time, I will use an underscore to separate the first and last name. Username must not contain spaces or underscores. Let's type in a username that follows the rules. That seems to work. So that is the or logical operator. If at least one condition is true, then the entire statement is true, and we execute it. All right, everybody, so those are logical operators, and checks more than one condition, both must be true. Or checks more than one condition, at least one needs to be true. Not, not is a little different. It checks if something is not true. Basically, it does the inverse. And well, everybody, those are logical operators in Java.